Well, the cops behind us. Or something. I don't know. You probably think we're doing something. Oh, I guess so. Oh, the police or something. Hello? What's up, man? How you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, trying to sleep. Trying to sleep? Yeah. That's my husband. This is not any kind of That's weird... That's your ID? Yeah. That's my husband. This is not any kind of weird thing. Uh, I said, Trump. that's my husband. This is not any kind of weird... Shut up. I just need his ID. And then the Trump. Come on. Oh. my ID from the Trump. And the cops over here. You got any weapons in the car? Mm, just mace. You have anything on you right now? No. I'm um, recording. Oh, I forgot to hear this. You have the registration for the car? Uh, it's under her. It's under her name. Like this is her and her mom uh, purchased it in Texas. Okay. That's fine. All right. Do you have the Do you have the registration with you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's like undercover. I don't, this is probably uncomfortable. I don't know if you have any shoes you want to just slip on. Just oh, I got sandals. Yeah, I got yeah, sandals. Yeah, you know. Okay. Are you guys homeless? No. We have a little place where we're staying with our friends. I mean, we just moved, we've only just been here a little bit, so we don't, I don't know what that is. Where are these guys? I'm not done. Yeah, I'll play a flight card table. You guys just recently got down here? Yeah, she's kind of mental, so she starts like yelling and stuff like... Okay, I mean, is it... Well, yeah, no, I'm from... When you say mental, what do you mean? Like, if you talk to her, like, uh, no, she's just, uh, she's like borderline schizophrenic. Okay. Is she on medication or anything? No, no. He's just saying anything. He's the one who's bipolar. Yeah. I don't have uh, mental issues. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm from Texas. She's Even if from... you do, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I just have a bipolar, but she's, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm from Texas. She's from Ohio. I came down here just to kind of help her out and stuff, but okay. yeah. But, so you guys staying in the car? Or where are you guys been staying at? Yeah, I just sleep in the car. Are you doing it, it, I, I gave it to this guy, so I have a random person. Uh, you got into a car accident? Oh, uh, some girl hit us. We were actually parked, and she backed up into us. We just let her go. Yeah, I have it on video. She, she, we were just parked there, like at a hotel, and she backed up into us. And I got, and I started recording. And and it's not my car, so I was like, Tia, whatever you want to do, you want to let her go. And the girl was just there, so we just let her go. By, I saw this car oh, yeah, he scared me. I, I was saw, like, I saw I, the door, I saw yeah, the door yeah, open, yeah, go, yeah. And so, I don't know what the heck was going on. Yeah, so the library is right here, and we've been yeah. getting a lot of burglary, so I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, going here. I got so scared. I got, yeah, I saw somebody. I'm like, oh, somebody's over here, and then I saw you go this way. And I'm like, and then that car honked behind you, and I was like, oh, what is this guy doing? Like, I thought you were just trying to, someone else was just trying to like seep over here, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I didn't know who, it, I didn't know who it was. So I, I was like getting my mace ready like to see because I kind of noticed like they were going over here and then but I didn't know it was the it was the cops or anything like that. Yeah. But I was just like you know. Well, we're just, just gonna check you out, make sure everything. So, you know, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, usually we chill on the island or what island? Um, the Miami Beach. Uh, cause like it's free parking from after after six is free parking over there on the island. Okay. 
cool. Oh, no. Yeah. She doesn't like, well, she doesn't like logos like, she doesn't like Ford. That's the Ford logo. She doesn't like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm serious, I'm serious. She doesn't like, uh, she doesn't like um, Butterburger. She doesn't like anything from Texas. She's like Ford is from Texas. Yeah. So she uh, a Ford is from Texas? Ford is from Texas, yeah. And, Did uh, you see the movie Ford versus Ferrari? No. Oh, you gotta see it's that movie. Good. Yeah, you gotta see it. But that just came out, no? Like, uh, yeah, movie. it's but it's out right now. You can like watch it on on, on oh, okay. cable. No, yeah, I haven't. I just I just rented the one off of uh, I just rented a movie like uh, Frozen Two. I haven't seen that one yet. I rented it off of uh, Google Play. Right. It was like I rented it off my Sprint. I rented it off my Sprint um, account. I didn't know I could do that through right. Google. So uh, I didn't know like it had my number attached to it. So I was like, I just pressed it. And it went through, so I was like, that's weird. <laughs> well, you see how this looks, right? You know, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, well, yeah. And then you see... No, yeah, I just, it's just, I just... And the door's wide open, and then all of a yeah. sudden it's closed. Yeah, like if I burp or if I fart, she opens the door, so she doesn't want to... And you in the car with a female, yeah. you just want to make sure. And this is your husband? Yeah, yeah, it's my right. wife. So you guys going to head out home, or where are you going to Yeah, we can go somewhere more in the in the light. Because that's what she always says, she likes being in the, in the light. You know, I'm like, yeah, I guess that's right. Because it's more like just private here, so. I was more secluded here, so I thought it would be more chill, but. So we're just going to wait on the, uh, everything. Yeah. To the, make sure everything comes back good, and okay. you guys will be good to go. Yeah, we got some, excuse me, the, the toll things. And I, I looked up how much were the tolls because I was trying to pay them. And I looked up how, what can they do for, like, if I keep getting too many tolls and it says that they could put, like, a hold on your stickers. Like, they could put, like, a, a restriction. Yeah, if you don't pay, your yeah. license will get suspended. Yeah. Oh, your license will get suspended? Yeah. Oh, damn. But uh, they put them all together? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, guys, take care. I Thank you. Sure Thanks, man. Guys, have a good night. All right, you too. Thank you. Yeah, you got to be careful. Like we're, when. We're not oh, hold on. Press, <laughs> press pause. I'm recording. <laughs> so, yeah, like I noticed the guy. Well, the first cop, he didn't have a. He was unmarked. So I was like, "What is this guy doing?" So I was worried for my, you know, safety or whatever. So then. um I saw him go over there, like, uh, I have it in my other vlog, in my main vlog. So I'm going over there, and like I said, I saw him turn around, and other honk, 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 uh, cars were honking at him. And then, uh, and then I saw a regular cop car pull up. I guess he was waiting for another car to pull up with him because he was by himself and unmarked. Then um, the other guy came up, pulled up with him. A regular cop car, because, like, you know. And I saw his badge, and I was like, oh, okay. So this is the first guy that was a regular cop. I mean, it was an undercover or whatever. But you gotta be careful because I saw him like you know, kind of putting his hand on his gun. You have to be careful. You gotta let you have to kind of let them know that you don't have any weapons. That's why he asked me, "Do you have any weapons?" I'm like, "No, just maze," you know. And you have to be calm. If you're like the more nervous you are, you kind of you can kind of make them nervous too because, um, you know, they don't know if you have something or if you're a criminal. That's why he was waiting for the plates to come back. And they're like, "Oh, we'll wait for the plates." And the plates came back clear, or whatever. Then they're like, oh, "Okay, well you can go." But um, the other guy too. When I when he said go go ahead and you could put some shoes or sandals on, I wanted to go open the door to get. And I knew this was gonna happen too. I wanted to go open the door to get my sandals, and he was watching me, and he came behind me to see what I'm doing. But he just told me to get my sandals, and I got him real slow, and I'm like, I threw him on the floor, and I showed. You have to, and I kind of, I kind of brought him out and showed him. You know, you just don't make any fast movements, and don't, and um, don't leave your hands in your pocket. Like, don't put your hands in your pocket. Leave your hands out. Like, I watched a lot of. Uh, I guess, you know, stuff with cops or whatever, but yeah, you don't want to make them <clears throat> uneasy or whatever, because that's when, you know, they might <clears throat> do something stupid, but uh, yeah, they just seemed really chill, a little bit nervous at first, like I said, he was just uh, curious, the first guy, what we were doing here, T had the door open, like I said, uh, sometimes I burp or fire, whatever, she doesn't want that in the car, so she'll open the door, but, <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, yeah, I kind of, you kind of couldn't see the, that much. Like, uh, if you listen, they, they seem pretty nice. Especially the first guy's like, "What are you doing?" Like with your phone. I'm like, "Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm just recording." Then they, they kind of change a little bit, change, like, "Oh, I'm like, oh, okay." Like, he's, I think they kind of calmed down a bit, like turned, calmed down a notch when I said I was recording. But yeah, 
Um, I think they were just worried. Yeah, like what we we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, because like, like, like you said, oh, I saw the door open. You know, it's dark outside, which it is really dark out here. But it's more secluded. That's why I kind of liked it because it is more private, it seemed. Mm. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share it to the channel. And peace out. Uh, I want to say one more thing. Before the cop, I even saw him. I I even asked here, and I if I should add this on. I guess I will. I had like a like a vision, and I like I was worried about something, but I don't know because sometimes you just get worried, but nothing uh, really happens. But I I was worried. I was thinking about the son of Sam. Your son of Sam is a guy you can look it up. He would go and um, I don't want to say the word, but you know he would go and take people's lives that were sitting in their car. Or sitting on the street like all oh, randomly and I had that that uh, that image in my in my mind before mm -hmm. before I even saw him I saw him go over there like I like I told you and I saw him over there and I had the image of uh, of son of Sam before I but like I said before I saw him and uh, like I said he would go and people were chilling in their car sitting down and and yeah he uh, he's uh, he's in jail right now he wanted to get out he said that like uh, the devil made him no nah, he's still in jail he said, like, the devil made me do it, or I don't know what. Oh. <laughs> so he's saying it's, like, not his fault. But I think, I think that's why initially when they showed up, they were being so gruff because they, you know. Yeah, you they to, don't know. Yeah, they're nervous. You think of it from yeah. the police perspective, like, they don't know. They don't know who you are, yeah. But see, the thing is, like, once they establish that it's fine, that's when. Yeah, they're chill, They're yeah. chill. But whenever I would get pulled over in Texas, they would, like, no matter how chill I would be. Like, because, okay, right now I was even... I probably could have chilled it down a notch, but in Texas, if I get pulled over, I would be way chill, and they would. And still, they don't care, yeah. Yeah, they would be super mean to me. But you should record it though, like that. that it's for your protection and their protection. That's why they have the recording on their chest now. Oh. It's for your protection and their protection. I didn't. I, I don't know why it never occurred to me that I should. Yeah, you should always record. Whenever a cop stops, you record it. Yeah. And you record. Try, I try to record everything that I can. You know, yeah. and now uh, since that one cop, because that one cop in Houston, that uh, Jackson C, it's on one of my ch uh, one of my videos. Look up, a cop gave me a ticket. Cop Jackson, um, space C, capital C, he gave me a huge long ticket of nonsense that um, didn't make any sense. And I should have recorded him, but I just recorded the ticket. Now ever since then, I'm like, now nah, I'm definitely gonna record uh, any uh, cop or any when it comes to the, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Like, subscribe, share, check out links in the description. Jared told the police a little bit of a not, not good thing. Jared told the police that I am the one that has bipolar. Jared, you know you're the one that's bipolar. I can go print it out on Social Security right now. Jared straight up lied, homie. He straight up lied like hell. I'm not, I don't have any mental illnesses. None. I've never had any history of mental illness. Jared, that was wrong. This is not a joke either. Jared, Jared, you know, you know what's up. That's 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 messed up, man.